much fun it is to broadcast the U.S. Open Golf Tournament to the whole world. And thanks to Chevron, the USGA, and the STEM Zone, we have the chance to learn how it's done. Hey, Megan, let's go see what's going on down on the course. Thanks, guys. I'm John, and I'm here with my daughter, Maddie, at the U.S. Open. It's a beautiful day here at the Olympic Club in San Francisco. Thanks, Dad. And speaking of the U.S. Open, did you know that the golf tournament is organized by the United States Golf Association, or USGA, and is scheduled in mid-June, so that the final round is played on the third Sunday, which is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Thanks, Maddie. I did not know that about Father's Day. But what I do know is that at the Chevron STEM Zone, I learned two things about the golf term eagle. Sounds good. Let's hear it. Okay, here it goes. To score an eagle on a par five hole, I need to make the hole in three shots, which would make my score two under par. And on a par three hole, I need to make it in one shot, which as you know is... A hole in one. That's right. But the best part is that Chevron and the USGA will contribute $10,000 for every eagle scored during the US Open to help fund golf-related educational programs. Wow, that's awesome. A big thanks to Chevron, the USGA, and the STEM Zone for providing this amazing opportunity. Now a word from our sponsors. Most people see a ball blasting out of a bunker. I see scatter theories. I see volcanic basalt, thermal maturation, and evaporates. I see basin modeling and geodestiny. And the cool thing is, I see all of this because of a ball blasting out of a bunker. Partnering with the USGA at the US Open is one way we help educate kids in science, technology, engineering, and math. 